Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how are you all doing? Welcome back to Daily Weekly Builds and today, something a little bit different. So today I'm going to be taking you through every sealed set that I own. Now, a few disclaimers before we get into this video. There isn't a lot, um, as I've only really just started doing this just before Christmas, keeping sets sealed. And it's for two reasons. One, if I never feel like building these, then investment, perhaps. And the second thing is, if I'm ever bored and I want to just build some Lego, I've got a good amount of sets here. Now, now I should just quickly mention that these aren't all the sets I technically own. I've got a few more sets on the way, including one that was very high up in my top 10 promotional sets of all time. So if you are interested in that, please do go check that video out. It'd mean a lot to me. So here we are. These are my sealed sets. Now, like I say, there isn't a lot. Um, there's a good amount, but some of them are repeats of each other. Some of them I just really liked and got off Bricklink or, or when we went to Lego store. Go check that vlog out. So I think we'll start with what's on top here, which is one of my favourite promotional sets, but this isn't the one I was talking about that I've ordered. So it's the Teal 2x4 brick, um, and despite doing all that research, that promo video, I cannot remember how you got these. Um, but I got on Bricklink for, I believe, £12 around there, plus shipping, which it's overpriced for this for 110 pieces, but it's, it's a nice little set. I, I really do quite like it. Um, again, I haven't built it yet, but this is one that I'm probably not going to keep silks just because I really like the build of it. Coming up next, we have a set that I was looking for for a while and is weirdly rare now. Um, I don't think it's retired now, but I managed to get one when we went to the Lego store, and it is the 3 in 1, I believe it's called the Mighty Dinosaur technically. Um, again, I don't think this is one that's going to go up in price, particularly on the aftermarket, so it's one I'll probably just be keeping for myself, just because for a 3-in-1 set, like the brand new Tiger, I really do quite like this. I think it's quite a nice little build, um, and the alternate builds as well are pretty good, but I think if you're going to build this, you've got to go for the T-Rex. Coming up next, we have... The Lego City Ice Cream Van. This is the newest one, I believe, but I think it has been out for a little while now. Um, and I got this off Amazon. I believe it was reduced from $17.99 to $13.99, um, which is a great deal. I really, I'm not a massive City fan, as I explained in my Bradley's Hall video, but I, I love the City vehicles. I think they're so lovely, um, and. Yeah, I'll just probably keep collecting these when they release because they're really nice and I've got another one here which I guess I'll show you next. But here we have the Lego City, I believe it's just the camper van, but it's really nice. It has a uh, full interior which is lovely. Uh, you get technically three figures, but one of them's a baby figure and it's just really lovely to be honest. I, I just, yeah, I just love these City vehicles, but this one... I'm in the market to get another one for to keep as is because this one I've got some other plans for. So next I think I'll show you uh, a set of items which again will be featured in a video coming up soon where I have a look at all of these sets but it is of course all of the brand, well I say brand new, they've been out since October I believe, all of the Lego Spider-Man No Way Home but not No Way Home sets. I've I don't really know why I've started collecting these, apart from for all that video. Um, I wanted the new Spider-Man minifigs, which by the way, I believe all of them look great. Uh, I've got two of these, uh, so I won't bother showing you the other one, but that can just sit out there. It's just a 4 plus one, which um, basically I asked for it for Christmas, and then I, I saw it for like £2 off in uh, B&M, and I grabbed one. So, now I have two. Uh, but one of them I'll probably keep still because that minifigure, once these sets are retired, I don't think we're going to see that minifigure ever again. And same with that brand new Mysterio. It's a brand new uh, print from Mysterio, one that's more accurate to the movie itself. So, 
Here's hoping um, this is one that might actually increase over time. Just for those mini figures. Now it is a four plus set, there isn't much to it, so it might not go up substantially, but just for those mini figs alone, I could probably make my money back from the set just selling those on Bricklink. So now on to the one that came today, which is the Spider-Man's Drone Jewel. Um, again, it's a weird set because it's kind of No Way Home, but it's kind of Homecoming. It's it's nice. The new mini figs, I love it. I love that new Vulture and the black and gold suit Spider-Man. Again, it's lovely just to have the No Way Home figures. Um, I think all these sets do us. I want to get multiples of to keep some resealed for uh, resale later because Marvel Superhero sets, you know, once they're gone, they're gone. Now we have the Spider-Man at the Sanctum Workshop set. Probably the most No Way Home out of all of these because it's actually got more than one character that is in one <laughs> that is in the movie. Um, the new Dot Strange in this is lovely. Um, and one thing I should mention as well. I did have the brand new Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness set, uh, the Gargantos Showdown, but I built it last night. I was just sitting there, I was kind of bored, um, and I think it is a really nice set to be fair. Um, the Doctor Strange movie for using that is slightly different, just to go with his new outfit in the movie. And of course you get America Chavez as well, and Wong. Um, and this you also get Wong and Dot Strange, so I've got two thirds of the minifigures in this set alone, but of course these are different variants. Um, and you get that lovely new black and gold Spider-Man suit, and you get an MJ, which is fine. It's not the best minifigure, I don't think they could have done much better really. But the set itself, for £35 is a bit overpriced, but we move. Next up is a set that's not really interesting, it's the Lots of Dot set. Um, Anyone anyway, wondering why if you kept that sealed? I just don't need the pieces yet. When I need them, that's when the set will be open. But until that day, stay in the box. But I think for the amount of one by one tiles you get in this, for the price of I believe seventeen ninety nine, I don't think it's too bad. But you get at least twenty of every type of tile uh, that's available through dots. I believe there might be more. There might be less. You might get some extras in here that you don't get in any other set. But either way, I saw this. I didn't know it existed until I saw it in store. So. I grabbed one and that's the story behind the lots of dots set. Next up we have my birthday present, um, sorry my Christmas present from Bradley and it is a Lego 501st Battle Pack. I own one of these already, they're great, those minifigures, fantastic um, and I really hope Star Wars starts doing some more, sorry Star Wars? I hope Lego starts doing some more Star Wars Battle Packs like this because even though this was more expensive than the old Battle Packs, it's great. Um, I'm keeping it sealed just because I don't need to build it yet. Like I say, it's, that's kind of my reason for most of this. Like, I'm not much of a reseller, but if I do get into it, then I'm, and I've got the option. But for now, it's more just keeping them still because, you know, I can. Uh, next, we'll go on to a set which has technically now retired, which I didn't even know. Um, and it is, of course, the Lego Man Hall of Armor. It is the Hall of Armor, not the Armory. That's one thing I will mention. The armory, the little expansion that you can get to this, has shot up so much now that that's retired as well. It costs about as much as this set cost retail. And for the, I know you get a few good minifigures and you get that exclusive Tony Stark um, and that lovely hot rod car. But for me, it's just, yeah, nah, I am. Um, I don't need to spend £40 on that when I could probably just put another £12 towards and get another one of these because even though it's retired, I think I've still been seeing it on sale on Amazon. So they must be trying to get rid of it. Um, so if you are looking for that, please go check out Amazon just to see if they've got any more of these because it's um, a really good set that I never got earlier for some reason. It was just one of those ones that I always wanted to get. I always thought, nah, I could use it to buy other things. But it's a lovely set and I don't think that's what I'm going to be reselling. I just really like it too much. Um, now, next we'll go on to well, sticking with a the Marvel theme, I guess. Uh, the Lego Infinity Saga. I've got the box backwards. It's the Avengers Endgame Final Battle. More or less, just got this for the minifigs. I don't own an Iron Man Mark 85. Obviously, I don't own the Thanos. I don't own the Endgame Suit Cap. I don't own the Scarlet Witch. I don't own a Black Panther. I own an Outrider, though. I don't own four. Or at least this version four. I have some of the earlier 2012 ones. Again, it's not a great set. It was on sale. 
I think it was about 20 pounds off. So I bought it. Um, and that's about the whole story behind this one. It's, I don't think the set's particularly great, but the minifigures are great in that brown van um, that they use for the time travel stuff is really good. Um, and now we are on to the final sealed set I own. And I believe it's also one that's recently retired. So I'm very happy and proud to have this. Uh, it might not have retired actually, I could be wrong, but it's the Lego Ideas Friends Central Perk set. One that I think everyone wants to get or wanted to get and got it. Um, it's just really nicely detailed and I'm not a huge Friends fan, but I do enjoy it. Um, last year I rewatched the whole series and it was pretty damn good to be fair. Um, but I'm more of a How I Met Your Mother fan. Um, so whenever they do an apartment set for that, best believe I'll be getting that. But overall, this is a really lovely set. Um, I know people aren't really found the whole sitcom style sets and think they're a bit overdone. I agree to a certain, a certain extent, but I, I do like them. They're always really nicely detailed and well constructed. Um, and I think the minifigures, the minifigures? The minifigures in this are really great. Um, and I think they all represent the characters pretty well, apart from Monica. There's something about that Monica figure that just doesn't scream Monica to me. But the rest of them, fantastic. And I believe this was on sale as well. I believe normally it's $64.99. I believe I got it for $52.99. So, yeah, that's about it for my uh, Lego sealed sets collection. Um, do you keep any sets sealed or do you build it all straight away? Because that's what I used to do. Every time I got a set, I build it straight away. If I got multiple sets, I build them straight away. So this is more for me to just, if I'm ever bored and I fancy building some Lego, I've got a good abundance of sets. Uh, now, be sure to stay tuned for a video on the Spider-Man Lego sets, the new ones. Um, I'll be taking you through the entire series of them, building them up, and we'll be ch chorting. We'll be talking about all of the pros, cons, and what I think they could do for a second wave if they chose to do that. So thank you all so much for watching. We're really appreciative of all of the support you've been shown daily, weekly bills lately. So uh, be sure to keep that up and um, subscribe, like the video, comment, whatever you think. Um, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.